Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript Integration Series and today we are going to take a very simple example to learn callback, callback hell, promise and async await. And guys, these are the four concepts which are being repeatedly asked in all kind of interviews. Okay, all kind of fronted interviews. So let me start with a very basic thing. So we have a method called keep multi flying, which is a error function. And in this tutorial, we are going to use uh, only error functions. Okay, so what it does is it takes a number as a parameter and now i'm going to call the keep multiplying method okay and let's pass 10 here the idea is this number will be passed to uh, another function which is multiply by 2 okay it simply returns the number it takes as a parameter into 2 that's it okay and here we call it multiplier by 2. So now the flow is simple, right? 10 will be passed here. Then this num will be passed here. This num will go as a number. And then it will return that after multiplying by 2. This is simple. Now let's say, uh, as you can see, this code is synchronous. There is no asynchronous task, right? All the tasks are happening immediately. But now let's say we have some async action happening in line number 8. OK, so to mimic that, I'm going to use a set timeout. Okay, and we are going to run this set timeout after one second. Okay, and now I'm going to move this statement above and I'm going to return the set timeout. Now guys, remember one thing, because set time is a async operation, we cannot return from it. Okay, so this return keyword is of no use here. Now we need some mechanism so that we can pass this calculation back to the multiply by two method from where it was called in line number 14. Okay, so to do that, we are going to use a callback. A callback is simply a function Okay, this is a function which is passed to another function as parameter. Okay, and then that parameter and this callback we can call after some time. In this case, this is one second. Okay, so now as you can see, this callback is calculating uh, this number into two, and uh, this will be passed here. Okay, so we can get it as a result. Okay, and let me just log it result save it so the expectation is after one second we should see 20 in the console okay so what i'm going to do is let me just clear this first i'll just say node path of my file after one second we see 20 so this is working fine now let's say we want to perform this async action multiple times okay so what we are going to do is since we are getting the result here okay so we can what we can do is we can pass this result to multiply by two again okay and now again since it is taking the callback we will use a callback here and this time also it will get a result so just to avoid the confusion let's say this is result one result one and this is result two okay now again i would like to call the multiply by two and pass the result two as the first argument and then a callback here i see there is extra bracket Okay, so now we are getting the result three here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll just log the result three and save. Now let's clear the terminal and run again. Okay, now after three seconds, because we are running this multiply by two, three seconds, is, is taking one second. Right? We will be printing result three, which is 80. Yes, now, now we can clearly see that when we have multiple asynchronous tasks, right, which is dependent on each other. So here the result, the multiply, this multiply by two in line number 15 is dependent on this result one, right? Because this is passed as argument to it. Then in line number 16, it is dependent on result two and so on, right? So when multiple asynchronous tasks are running together and they are dependent on each other, one another, then you can see this is growing from left to right. So this is called back hell. Okay, now let's move to the next topic, which is the promise. So we are going to solve this same problem using promise and see how it solves the callback help. So what I'm going to do is I'll just comment this one. Okay. And I'll also comment this one. What I'm going to do is first of all, instead of returning the set timeout, what we're going to do is we are going to create a promise, which would be new promise. And this takes uh, this promise takes a executor function which has two callbacks resolve and reject resolve runs we can run in the case of success and in case of failure we can uh, call the reject okay here what i'm going to do is i'll call the set timeout because we again need something to uh, to 
wait, right? So here we will wait for one second again. And here after calculation, the result will be passed to the result. And here we are only uh, checking the case of, we are only handling the case of success. Now this promise is ready. And I think we need to return this set name out. And at the end, I'm going to return the promise. That's it. Now, if I hover over the multiply by two, you can see it returns a promise. Okay, now to get the value out of the promise, we can use then. Well, let's see how. And write multiply by two, pass the number. Okay. And whatever promise is returned, we can get that using then. Okay, here it will return as the result. And the result is basically this number into two. Okay. And after getting the result, what we can do is we can call the multiply by two again with the where the result is. Okay. And again to differentiate, I'll just say result one, result one. And now again we can write a second then, which is multiply by two. And and again I'm just copy it and pass it to as result three, result three. Okay, and let's, let's do it one more time. This is result four. And here I'm going to do is log uh, this result four. Okay. Now let's see what we have in the terminal. Now we are running it four times. One, two, three, four, right? So 10 into two, 20, then 40, then 80, then 160. So we are expecting 160 here, if I run it. After one, two, three, four seconds, it should print 160 in the terminal and it is printing, right? So this is uh, how promises work in JavaScript. So as of now, we have seen the callback, callback hell and promises, right? And how to overcome the callback hell. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is async await. So for that, we do not need to even touch this because uh, async await also works with promises. So let's go at the bottom and I'll just comment this one. And the benefit of async await is that it makes your code look synchronous. Okay. So, and it's a shorter syntax than using this thenable syntax. And by thenable, I mean uh, this returns a promise and then we can add it then. So, this part is thenable. Okay. So, to use await in the body of the function, the function should be of type async. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to have result one is equal to multiply by two and I'll pass the number. Okay, now since this is an asynchronous task, taking some time, we can await it, right? Same thing, I'll do two more times. So, and now what we can do is we can log the result for. See, there is a typo, but it does not matter. Let's 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 go ahead with this only. I'll just run node main here, and to show you, after four second, it should print 160, and that's working fine. So as these, these are the four concepts which are asked again and again in the interview. If you have learned something new, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.